This is an extraordinary moment. Smart technology has been promising to make our lives easier, safer, and more connected than ever. At home, at work, at play, and especially when we're on the road moving through our busy lives. But making good on the promise of the connected car requires overcoming fundamental challenges, such as car APIs that don't adhere to a standard set of rules, and proprietary solutions that make porting apps a nightmare for developers. The good news is, the answer to those challenges is here. The moment for us to come together and build the industry standard for in-vehicle connectivity is now. Smart Device Link, or SDL, is the definitive platform for a universal car API, allowing any personal device to be linked and operated by any vehicle easily and intuitively. Here's everything you need to know. SDL offers seamless, safe control of smartphone applications with an automotive-grade solution that's designed for the car and controlled through the car. SDL is the engine that powers Ford's AppLink, it's operating system agnostic, with a single code base that allows automakers to deliver the same experience across all vehicles, while empowering them to customize that experience as they wish for each make, model, and trim. SDL connects cars to the cloud, providing updated metrics and information that allows manufacturers to easily and efficiently improve the vehicle experience. With a strong developer focus, SDL makes integration streamlined and updating apps easy. It allows consumer controlled data flow on an app-by-app -app basis. And for drivers, SDL offers unparalleled consistency in user interface. It works through the vehicle's steering wheel, dashboard, and voice controls, allowing drivers to keep their eyes on the road and their hands on the wheel while staying connected to their favorite apps. The reach of SDL is expanding rapidly. As a technology that works in every market, Smart Device Link is already at the forefront of the connected car revolution in millions of vehicles around the world. And this is just the beginning. Why merely adopt the new standard when you can help create it?